Hey, I'm sick. My eyes all red. I'm in America. Hello there. If you'll notice, my voice is completely gone because we are back in Utah, as you, I'm sure you figured out by now. But I'm sick, of course. I got sick two days before we left, and that was a really fun playing red, and now I'm here. But yeah, uh, today, as part of one of our deals, I got these. I thought they were bigger. They were online, they, much, they looked much bigger. But uh, these are the Lifting Point Jack Pucks. I guess Corvette's fiberglass, right? So there's nothing to really get a hold of. And um, the frame on them, which is aluminum on the Z06, is like, not, I don't want to throw a random floor jack under there. So these, you guess you slide up there, turn 90 degrees, and then tighten the bolts down so it locks in place and you got a permanent jack mount all the time. So I got these on ye old Amazon. They got here a lot faster in America. But yeah, so we're going to be installing these today and we're actually taking the tires off today because I got to get new tires. Um, these are who knows how old and I don't want, they're dry rotted. So I don't trust them, so we're going to put some new ones on there. That'll cost me a fortune and it'll be good to go. But yeah. Bear with me with my terrible husky voice, and it's not even not even like sexy husky. It's just terrible husky. And um, we'll do more Corvette things and more fish oh yeah things back in Utah. So cool. Watch the time lapse. I'm a thinking guy. All right. Oh. See, that is what I told you, bring the jumpsuit. I bought a brand new jumpsuit before I got here, and Chica was like, oh, hey, you gonna bring that to Utah? And I was like, no, I don't need to bring a new jumpsuit. I'm not gonna do anything crazy. And the first thing I do is complain about having to get on the ground and get dirty. I'm a thinking guy, all right? See? Nope, it's low. I don't think that floor jack's even gonna work. Nah, it's not gonna fit the floor jack is way higher. Thought I have to go with the Harbor Freight. Hmm? Hmm? Hello, everybody. So, I'll probably have to go to Harbor Freight and buy a floor jack immediately because. The T one, eh? Yeah, the little, like, little low down blue boys that everyone's got. Because immediately I'm finding out this car is dumped on the floor from the factory uh, so it's too low for my dad's floor jack to even work on it so I'm not gonna even try yeah the other one look, I, I mean maybe but oh, it's not. Swipe. okay so those are all installed painless I I got a little dirty but um, um, something oh Chica was saying how it seems like we were just here, like like we went to Walmart, right? And then it was felt like we never left Utah, and it's, it's been two years almost exactly. It's been like two three days shy of exactly two years uh, since we left. And honestly, we've had a YouTube uh, YouTube channel longer than that. It doesn't feel like that, but yeah, it's, time is screaming by, and uh, we are happy to be vi here visiting. And so yeah, I'm here dinking around with my cool car. Oh, this is the this is probably going to be the uh, the thumbnail photo right here. But, uh, anywho, yeah, those are installed. I probably, realistically, I'll probably just find some wood blocks to drive up on real quick, and that way I can put the car in jack stands. I gotta get tires. I'm not, and, since I don't have my tire machine here, because it's back in Japan, I will, I refuse to have someone else drive my car, like, at a tire store or whatever, so I'll just put it on jack stands, use my dad's truck, take the wheels over there, less chance of someone else dinking around my interior. And then uh, put some new tires on here, and we'll get it ready for the big trip, which we will fill you in on as we go. But um, there was something I was going to say, and now I can't remember what it was. So we'll do like a boop, boop, and then I'll come back in a minute when I know what I was going to say. Okay, hang in there. Okay, so I tried to do tires yesterday, but then the sickness took hold, and I gave up. Also, my dad's floor jack is meant for trucks and not Corvettes. I get all these Corvette guy. I don't know what's up with that. So, uh, I don't need much of an excuse to go buy tools. So we went to Harbor Freight this morning and uh, I bought tools. We got a little low boy jack. Everyone has the exact same jack. 
And then since we are going to be doing a lot of driving on this trip in America, I decided to bring some tools and again, I, I don't need an excuse to buy tools. So I'm like, oh, hey, we got to be there. So buy them. So yeah, I got a little, uh, and there's, of course there's airplanes. Well, we're walking outside too because, oh, the lighting, is there light? It's always bad. I don't have the screen on my side. How much to know? Anywho. So, uh, yeah, I like these little, <coughs> the sickness. I like these little cases. Our freight's got them. They're cheap. Bag out basic ratchets. Sockets, da, 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 ratchet straps, bungee zip ties, and floor jack. So um, let's do it to it. I'll start opening this. It's not really a tool reveal. Every if you have a drift car, you have this deck. So open this up. Take some wheels off. Go to Walmart because they've got cheap Kenda KR twenty A's, and we'll put some tires on this thing, and then we will get ready because we are going to head to a location tomorrow and that'll be a surprise for some of these videos. I don't even know where this is going to be at in the video. But okay, cool. Open it up, drink some water, get over the sickness, do it, enjoy. Star wipe. Okay, all right. The wheels are off. No. They, uh, <clears throat> oh, the sickness. Oh my gosh. Goodness, gosh. Oh my god. Um, old tires. These are 2014. 2014. What is wrong, people? Uh, yeah, that's the problem. I was ranting. I don't know if Chica's gonna use that audio from earlier, but I was ranting about old guys and Corvettes. Like, if you're gonna buy a Corvette, drive it. Do not let them sit. These are tires are in great shape, tread wise. They're just wasted. They've just been sitting and sitting and sitting and sitting. So we're gonna not do that with it. We're gonna be driving this car. But yeah, it's got like two two ninety fives in the rear, and um, I'm not gonna pay for, for 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 new ones. So I'm gonna get some different sizes. But uh, yeah, they're like brand new tread. Looks like it has a thousand miles on them, but they're worn out many many years ago. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna load them up in my dad's truck, take them over to Walmart, get them loaded up, and then I will get back at it. Hopefully the sickness doesn't overtake me. We get it back together, get it back on the road, and um, we'll do that. Okay, stay tuned. Chick is turning the truck around. She was complaining about not being filmed. She's being filmed. So. Her legs are too short. JDM wives are cool, but the legs are too short and they can't reach pedals in any vehicle. The moment is over. I'll be holding margaritas. Oh, Holding your purse, okay, okay. do whatever you want to do. Okay, in Vegas. okay, okay. Hurry up. Chup, chup, chup. Okay, so we're back from a five hour extravaganza trying to get four tires put on loose wheels in the state of Utah. I don't recommend no it. No complain. Huh? Oh, Chicky said don't complain. Chicky said get back to work. I'm doing an oil change. But yeah, finally managed to get. I got two tires from, from, from Brandon. He hooked it up, it was always there for me. And I got two tires from Les Schwab, who. Chop, chop. Aren't as speedy as they claim to be. But um, let me find an oil pan in my dad's shop somewhere and then I just won't locate the oil filter and we'll go from there. I got some uh, no name trash tires for the front. Some S, S lift, S tar, I don't know, something. And then I got some Accelera uh, 651, 651, however you say. Oh no, it's kicking. Uh, some 650, 651s, 265, 35s to the rear. And, um, smaller than what to call it for, but I don't have 295 money. And that's okay. That's a filter, but where is the... Oh, is the drain plug all the way up front? This is a weird oil pan. Any of you guys who know Corvettes, I don't know Corvettes, which is a terrible excuse because my dad's a Corvette guy. 
Um, it's all new to me, but I'm, I'm thinking that the oil drain plug is in the front of this weird looking pan. I hope that's it. Find out. That's gotta be it. That was way low to the ground. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that. It's not a 14. You gonna put a Corvette engine in it now? Rear end on it? Oh, jeez, it's me. You're not even. That's not even you're a younger cousin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's excited. So. Pretty excited. Good to see you. Yeah. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm back for a month. So. Oh yeah. I guess we're still filming. We use Rotella, Rotella in this family. This is Rotella T6 1540. Uh, if you're in Japan, you know this is basically gold. If you're in America, you are uh, blind to how good it is. So, here and enjoy. Hey everybody, uh, this is Jace over here. Oh wait, I'm gonna take my glasses off, I guess. Uh, it's pretty bright here. In Utah, which is where we're at, um, Chick and I are cruising down to Vegas at the moment, which is our, no, that's a big reveal, haha, <laughs> we're going to Vegas. Um, we're in the we're in the Corvette. I'm riding passenger. She is driving. And uh, yeah, we're just cruising. <sighs> but yeah, I was gonna tell Chica uh, this car is not perfect. It might look amazing, and it is amazing. But the uh, it was actually a, involved in an accident before I got it. And my my dad fixed it up a lot and everything. Um, so we haven't taken it for alignment. Probably should have done that before driving to another state twice. But oh well, that's how I am. Uh, it's a little shaky, like like not like oh my god I'm in an S13 shaky, but like a little buzzy. And it occurred to me that uh, it has kind of a pulsation, like a whoa, 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 kind of as you're driving. And typically that's like a bad U joint or something. And I know, actually I don't know a whole lot about Corvettes and the whole torque tube nonsense. But occasionally there's a little bit of a noise from up front when they turn off the car. I'm thinking maybe like the Guibo has uh, failed or failing. And then also maybe one of the rear like CV axle half shaft thingies might have uh, taken a hit in the in the crash. But anywho, yeah, we are in. Oh, I got I got I got zoomed in on myself for a second. We are in the southern part of Utah now. It's surprisingly green for Utah in June, but it it, it snowed a whole bunch this last winter. But. Uh, yeah, we're still like so many miles from Vegas, like oh my gosh. And uh, years ago I used to have a 2010 XB at five speed cruise control, and we go like set it at 90, just go. And uh, Corvette's a little buzzy for that, so we're not gonna do that. But anywho, yeah, I'll, I'll keep interjecting in and out of this video as we, uh, what's the term? Document our trip. Yeah, yeah Chica likes to do a lot of driving in the country road. And, uh, and I do all the city driving, but anywho, yeah, thanks for tuning in. We'll, uh, I'll come back to more of this and you can cut out all my rambling. And I got this cool beard. I have a blue shirt on. Anyone who's ever seen me before has noticed that. I mean, that's, that's crazy. It's either a black shirt or a gray shirt and that's all I have. But anywho, yeah, we'll come back. Okay, bye.